Are you a man or a mouse? That's the question the Conservative MP Tim Yeo asked of David Cameron a few days ago. Well, at the end of the summer holiday, the Prime Minister has answered with a newspaper article pledging to cut through the dither he says is holding the country back. With a host of political announcements ahead, including a reshuffle, Victoria Macdonald reports. What fun things do I do every day? Well, so a new term begins, and with that back-to-school feel in the air, the question is, hands up who wants a job in the Cabinet? The answer is probably more people than there are jobs. But with the reshuffle expected as early as this week, the speculation grows over who is in and who is out. This was a difficult week for the Prime Minister, who was asked by one of his own backbench MPs if he was a man or a mouse. So today he decided to go on the offensive. Writing in the Mail on Sunday, he laid out his ideas for ending Britain's economic paralysis by cutting through the dither that holds this country back. So under five headings, there's planning that's slashing red tape, housing getting first-time buyers onto the ladder, infrastructure such as road building, employment, new measures to boost jobs growth, and schools, we're told to expect a surge in free schools. The Chancellor, who is expected to survive the reshuffle, said today this would deliver a boost to the flagging economy. Our economy is healing. Jobs are being created. It is taking time, but there is no easy route to a magical recovery. We've got to do the hard work of paying off our debts, becoming a more competitive country, making sure that in the 21st century, actually, Britain mm. has its place in the world. The thorny issue of a third runway at Heathrow was also raised with Mr Osborne. He said all options were being considered. And there will be concern, too, in these proposals over planning deregulation, which critics will see as threatening Greenbelt land. Labour's response today, though, was to say the government was running out of ideas. What we needed him to do today was to announce that he was going to change course on his central strategy. Instead, what we've seen is more instability, more indecision and delay over a range of policies from planning through to aviation coming through from his messages. But this was as much Mr Cameron and the Chancellor setting the stage for the party conference next month when grassroots Tories will want reassurance that there is a plan not least for turning around the economy. And Victoria is with me now. So is he starting to do enough to calm all the Cameron criticism? Well, there is a feel at the moment of real mid-term blues. We're halfway through. There's another couple of years to the general election. And I think the grassroots Tories really do want to know that the government does have some ideas to get them through. Of course, the problem, too, is the economy and the growing unpopularity of George Osborne, the Chancellor. He was actually asked on the Andrew Marr show if he minded being so unpopular. He said, of course, he didn't come into po politics to be popular. But... Backbench MPs in particular are getting disgruntled at having to go back into their constituencies and explain things like budget U-turns and economic downturns and so on. And they want to know that the government does have some ideas. And David Cameron saying today, look, look how marvellously we did the Olympics. It's been fantastic. We can do more with infrastructure. But in a way, the David Cameron problem might be bigger on Nick Clegg's unpopularity than on George Osborne's. Well, this is a strange issue that's come up because Mr Clegg really is having a bad time. He has had a number of calls for him to resign. Uh, last week, Lord Oakeshott uh, said he should consider standing down. Today, another Lib Dem peer has said he's not invincible, which is not very subtle. Now, the problem for David Cameron and his team is Nick Clegg's reaction to this because... If Nick Clegg panics, now let's say last week he came in and started talking about tax the rich. This is not what the government wants to hear. And the concern for David what Cameron... the Conservatives want to hear. Yeah, the <laughs> Conservatives don't want to hear. And, and, and the concern is that this is Nick Clegg panicking a bit and they really want him to stay at the helm because they see that as the best way of keeping the coalition together. Thanks, Victoria.